my name's Jay Fulham. I'm down visiting some of the Texans down in, uh, uh, I don't know where I'm at. Athens, Texas. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. I'm in Ath okay. Athens, Texas. Athens, Texas. Yeah. I've got a daughter who lives down here, and I don't like New York winters, so I come down for a couple of months during this time of year, and I'm not going back to New York until the water temperature hits 50. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Uh, I'm going to tie a little warm water bug. Uh, it was featured in Fly Tire Magazine, the last issue. It's called a pinhead popper. Okay, I'm going to start out using some of this stuff. This is a home improvement store product. It comes in a variety of uh, three sizes, so consequently you can make panfish size or you can make poppers for small mouth or large mouth, bigger fish. I start out with a size 12, uh, actually a size 10 hook. 3x long and I'm just going to attach the thread and I'm going to put a base of thread down the whole length of the hook shank and then return it and I'm going to leave it oh a little farther back than you normally would for your fly then I'm going to make the eyes now if you're not sure what size to cut your eyes off at you establish that by what foam you're using. So if you take that little pin, it's a corsage pin, I'm just going to stick it through the foam that I'm going to be using, and then I'm going to cut it off on the other side, like so. And I'm going to want two of them, like so. Cut it off. Then I'm going to take my two little pins, and I'm just going to match them end to end. I'm going to center them. You'll probably see it better that way. <laughs> And then I want to keep the post together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a yeah, I just broke the thread. We all can do it. All right. So I make that wrap around the post. And once I get them where I want them, make sure I've got them all centered, I'm going to super glue them. And that really is about the most difficult part of doing this fly, is getting those eyes in place. But the eyes are what's going to support my foam later. All right, so I do that. Now, what you use for a tail or your legs or whatever is totally up to you. You can use anything you've got on your desktop, synthetic or natural. Take a little bundle of this for my tail. <laughs> and tie it in place. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the centipede legs. I'll take three of them. <laughs> Cut them off. I'm going to wrap them around the thread, like so. And gentle wraps in the back so I don't flare them and then increase the pressure forward. Now, my little piece of foam. I'm going to want a piece that is about twice the length of the straight part of my hook. From here to here, twice. I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to take and cut the foam in half. Like so. I'm going to fold it. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to put a hole right in the center in the front like that. Put my eye on my hook through it. Now, I'm going to pull the thread directly towards me. 
And then I'm going to bring my body back. And I'm going to make a few soft wraps. I'm not going to try and crush the foam. I just want to make soft wraps. Here. And I'll tie it off. And then a little super glue will keep my wraps intact. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put a little bit of super glue inside of here. Now, my bottom piece is a little long, so I'm going to trim it. Now, the bottom back piece, I'm going to pull thread off my bodkin, and I'm going to do this much like you would do dental floss. I'm going to do one of these, and I'm going to put this back almost to the back of my foam, and then I'm going to center it, and then as I wrap, I'm going to increase my pressure, like that. That'll taper my bug. And then I'm just going to use a couple of simple overhand knots back here. If I was in the And again, cut this free. And super glue. Legs. I'm going to take a needle. And I put two of my centipede legs through the needle. And I'm only going to put them through the needle a little ways, like that. And then I'm going to push my needle through the bug, make sure I've got it pretty well even on both sides and just pull my legs through and free them. And then to even them up, I'm just going to raise them up and cut them all off at the same time. And now they're the same length on each side. And then just a little tiny, tiny bit of super glue at the base of each, on each side. And my little bug is done. Very simple little warm water fly that can be tied in that size or that size or that size. You can tie them anywhere from the size of this up to fairly good sized bugs. Have fun with it.